Hey guys, this is the 21st of March. Been working on the hives. Just wanted you to see 1024. It says Queen Wright Week. This one over here says Queen Wright DNR. Basically, give it up on both of them. I didn't feed them or anything. Both of them have made it through the winter. Now, this one and that one over there both have the same, what you guys mostly, most beekeepers would think as a problem. I see it all the time. How do I keep ants out of my colonies? How do I keep ants off my boxes? How do I keep ants from on the undercover? Well, just a little history of ants Ant venom is formic acid. Formic acid, as we know, and formic pro, and some people use flash treatments of formic acid and mixed with water and put it on pads on top of their hives, kills mites. Well, I'm going to give you a little view on this one. Like I said, this one's very weak. I'm not about to open up the box because I'll disturb the disturb the ants too bad but watching them come in and going out of the front entrance looks like it's a pretty good sized colony right now I need to actually open them but I'm not but here I'll just take a peek take a peek look at all those eggs they are up in the feeder box I've already lifted the lid while I go to the feeder. Look down in there and it's, it's packed with bees. But you guys are wanting to know how to get rid of them. I'm wanting to know how to get them to stay up there. Because every colony that I've marked weak going into winter has ants on top of them. And they're alive. We'll just walk over here. The strongest colony in the yard I know I make you guys dizzy walking across the yard, but I don't feel like pausing it. Strongest hive in the yard is probably this top bar hive. Look at that. Look at it. You guys are all worried about keeping ants out. Like I said, I'm more worried about how to keep them in. Just a thought. Leave what you think down in the comments. Like and subscribe. And enjoy the season because it's just now starting in the Northern Hemisphere.